In this video lecture, we are going to simplify the expression for the activity of a radioactive sample at any time t. Now this is the radioactive disintegration law. Now at times this expression creates difficulty within the students while solving the numericals. So I urge my viewers not to use this expression at all times. So we are going to simplify it and reduce it to a further simplified version. So for that we need to understand one thing that this lambda is the decay constant and decay constant lambda is equal to 0 0.693 upon t half which is the half life time and we also know that 0 0.693 is equal to natural log 2 I mean to the base e like this upon t half so I'm going to express I'm going to use this into my expression over here so lambda once again is equal to 0 0.693 upon t half where t half is the half-life and 0 0.693 can be also written as ln2 that is the log 2 to the base e upon t half right now this n0 is the number of undisintegrated nuclei at time is equal to 0 whereas n is the number of undisintegrated nuclei at time is equal to t so first of all I'm going to bring this under n over here so n upon n0 that is equal to e raised to minus now instead of this lambda I am going to substitute ln2 that is to the base e 2 upon t half times t now very basic properties of log that we know that is log x to the power m can be written as m log x so whatever is the power over here right it can be pulled over here or it can be brought over here this property we are going to use over here so again n upon n0 which is equal to now this rearranging of the expression takes place over here minus t upon t half now this part this part I am going to bring it in the front and then ln e ln2 to the base e like this one okay now n upon n0 is equal to e raised to now since this behaves as the m this part the entire minus t upon t half behaves as m so it can be brought over x and x is this part too so it can be written as e to the power power ln 2 raised to minus t upon t half now this ln and e are like going to cancel each other so we have a simplified version n upon n0 that is equal to 2 minus t upon t half which can be further simplified as n is equal to n0 2 raised to minus t upon t half so this is our main expression which should be used at all times now the advantage of this equation is sometimes in the numerical like not sometimes most of the times you will be given this ratio as 2 to the power something so now this 2 and this 2 to the power something suppose if I say that this ratio is 1 upon 32 now that is equal to 2 raised to minus t upon t half so this can be further written as 2 raised to minus 5 that is equal to 2 raised to minus t upon t half so directly you you can say that the time is equal to 5 times the t half so in majority of the numericals you need to check that this ratio appears as 2 to the power something so this expression is going to help you out a lot over those times and there are few textbook numericals which can be solved by this very easily now if this ratio n upon n0 does not come in the power of 2 like suppose this is 1 upon 100 so how should I do it suppose n upon n0 is equal to 2 to the power minus t upon t half so if this ratio is 2 to the power something well and good but if this is not 2 to the power something like 1 upon 100 that is 2 to the power minus t upon t half now this cannot be expressed as 2 to the power something so it can be written as just do the reciprocal 100 then its reciprocal is 2 to the power then this 
negative sign will go off. Now you have to take log on both sides. So log 100 that is equal to t upon t half. Now log 2 because this will come over here. This is log 2 because the power will come front. I am using this expression over here. Now log 2 we know it is 0 0.3010 and then we can simplify as this is 2 and then we, can, we, then we can get as our final answer in terms of t half. So the crux of the entire lecture is if this ratio is 2 to the power something so you very patiently go through the numerical and try to find out whether this n upon n0 is in form of 2 to the power something or not. If it is then your job becomes very simple. If it is not then you have to apply log on both sides and then solve for small t.